Hey everyone, Jessica Coulter here, and today I want to talk to you about uh, maybe some not so obvious reasons why remote learning or online learning or e-learning, depending on what your school calls it, is uh, pretty awesome. So uh, these might apply more to the students, the kiddos, the mom and dad, but either way, I think they are pretty fun and uh, worth talking about. So if you yourself or your child is uh, going through some remote learning right now, or maybe, you know, school at home on the computer, let me know this message is relevant to you. Just tap that like or heart button for me. And uh, as we go along here, you know, I hope that uh, you feel free to share this video with other people, that you feel like dropping some comments, you know, with your reactions, or uh, don't forget to drop a GIF, you know, an emoji. You're welcome to. So before we really get going, just want to make sure you know who you are listening to. My name is Jessica Coulter and I'm the CEO and founder of Ace Cookie Tutoring. I help students in the third grade and beyond, all the way up through adults in grad school. I have three specialties, the ACT, middle school math, and proofreading and writing. So I can definitely help you or your child with much more than that, but those are kind of my three niches is what I think of. And uh, if you can't tell, I really like hearts and red and pink. So that's part of the reason for the board today, just having some fun. So. Let's move on to what I know you really want to know, which is uh, what makes online learning so great. You know, why uh, missing out on in-person school isn't maybe as good as you think it is. So number one is uh, all about pets. So this week I'm working as a substitute teacher, as a gym teacher online, and uh, doing some games to get to know the kids. And uh, one of the questions that came up was, do you have a pet? Well, <laughs> if you're doing at home learning, you get to spend pretty much all day with your pets, you know. So I have seen all sorts of dogs and cats and all sorts of animals I don't even think of as pets as pets. So that is kind of benefit number one. You know, if you need to just kind of have a conversation with your dog or your cat, you know, sometimes that helps us think things through. Or maybe you're getting a little stressed out, you know, maybe some cat cuddles, pet loving, whatever it is is going to help calm you down and prepare you for the next segment of teaching. So that's kind of number one benefit is having your pets at home because uh, unless you've got a service dog, you really can't take your pet to school unless it's a special occasion. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you're looking for some more tips, you know, some actual resources or study tips, I have a whole bunch of those for all sorts of grades in my group. The link's in the description. It's ace to me, it's facebook.com forward slash group, groups with an S, and then forward slash students aiming, wow, I'm all sorts of crazy. Hey, <laughs> so I have a Facebook group, and then I also have a Facebook business page. That's what I was trying to say, the same thing at once. So if you did facebook.com forward slash Cookie tutoring, that would take you to my business page. Or if you want to join the group, it is facebook.com forward slash groups with an S, forward slash A's for students. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. So now we've got uh, pets out of the way. What about benefit number two? And uh, for me, this is all about sleeping in and uh, bus riding and schedules. So I don't know how many of you guys are bus riders that might be watching this or were when you were in school. I was and I absolutely hated it. So if you agree with me, you know, let me know, give me a boo in the comments, you know, boo bus maybe, so that way we all know what's going on. Or, uh, you know, tap that like a heart button to let me know, yep, I don't, I know what you're talking about. So uh, my thought here is if you're at home, you don't have to get on the bus, you don't have to get up as early, because if your first class is at 8, if you were like some of the friends in my lives, wow, well, friends in my life, you only need to have 10 minutes to get up. Yeah, you don't eat breakfast till later in the day, and uh, you can, you know, enjoy some extra, extra Z's as they say. So that is benefit number two, getting some extra sleep and not having to ride the bus. I personally hated riding the bus. It, I was the first one on, last one off, and uh, I thought the bus was hot because we lived out in the country, so, you know, I get to deal with the gravel roads and all the dust in the bus when the windows are down. I don't miss it. So try to remember the good guys, okay? So I know remote learning might not be what you want, might be missing out on your friends and getting to see people face to face, but uh, you are getting to love on your pets if you've got pets and you're getting to get up, you know, 
later than you probably do and you're not having to sit on that bus for a long amount of time. So again, you know, just let me know what you're thinking. You know, drop me a comment. Let me know if you're enjoying the video and what uh, the number one benefit is for you with your family during this whole COVID thing and school at home. Now, I've got one more thing I want to share with you, and that is, again, you know, being at home, is uh, no school lunches. So I know that uh, some kiddos love their school hamburgers or school pizza. You know, some of those things taste different at school than they do at home. No matter how much you try them on, things just aren't going to taste the same. There's just something special or, depending on who you are, disgusting about a school lunch. So uh, I love, personally, being able to eat what I want since I've been at home so long and when I'm not uh, working with a student or I'm not subbing out of school. I get to make whatever I want for lunch or go wherever I want for lunch. Now I know some of you guys are taking advantage of the school's uh, sack lunches, which is awesome. I'm so glad some of my school districts are doing that. The cool thing about that though is, say, uh, you know, you get three chocolate milks for your three lunches and then your sibling gets three juices, well, one of you likes milk and one of you likes juice, you can always switch, you know, what you can't always do at school. Or maybe, you know, you get a vegetable you just don't like like your mom has some awesome dressing in the fridge, you know, or there is uh, something at home that makes it better. Well, hey, that's another benefit of being at home. So guys, I know this video is kind of silly, but I just wanted to take a moment and uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, at home learning is probably a little more difficult than in-person learning, at least uh, for the teachers it is for sure. And I know parents, there have been some serious struggles when it comes to technology, and I know some students are doing well with it, some aren't. So I applaud your efforts, and uh, you know, just keep trying. You know, if you're going back to school soon in person, awesome. Otherwise, if you've chosen remote learning for the semester or the year, completely understand that for health reasons. And uh, just know that I am here to help you as much as possible. So I would love to see you in my group, Students Aiming for A's, so you can get the help you need and your child wants. You know, or maybe mom and dad is to help you think that they, you know, need whether they need they want it or not. But uh, would love to see you guys in the group. Go to the link in the description and then get your hands on all of those educational resources, study tips, test taking strategies, all that good stuff. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks.